Do you love what you do? If you don't, why are you doing it? I love what I do, and I'm gonna share that with you on why I love what I do. First, what do I do? I am an individual who helps leaders build clarity around their professional direction, personal direction, and the way they lead. Why do I do that? Because it makes a huge impact well beyond just the direct reports. Let's just take in a couple examples. Think about yourself, the best leader you've ever worked for, and the worst leader. Put them on a split screen. How did that best leader make you feel? How did that worst leader make you feel? Did they impact anyone beyond just you? I'm gonna give an example that I had. I was working in an organization, one boss, six direct reports, we're all colleagues, weekly meeting. At that weekly meeting, someone was always gonna be made an example of. Someone was gonna call, get called out, someone was gonna get chewed out, they didn't make their numbers, something happened. Always a problem, always negative. What do you think the impact? Was that impact just on each one of us? Just the direct reports? It went well beyond. When we left that meeting, I would, in our silos, we'd all go talk to our counterparts in our silos. And I talked to my wife about it, didn't talk about it at the dinner table with the kid, but it impacted me. Did it impact folks in my organization? Yep. Not be, probably because of my mood or because of the way I was pushing folks. Leaders have an impact well beyond just their direct reports. Now think about, for you, think about that positive leader. What was the impact that individual had on you? Was it well beyond you? Suppose that leader, I came back from one of those meetings, it would be, well, I didn't make my numbers. He didn't blow me up here today. He's working with me. He's kind of mentoring me through. I'll meet with him on Wednesday, and we're going to see where I am to see what I can do to, if he, what he can do to help me. Much different. Is that going to make a better impact on me when I go back in my silo and the conversations I'm having back there and maybe with my family? Yes. I do this because I know, first, leaders make a big impact well beyond just direct reports, and leaders can be made. Are leaders born or made? Leaders are made. Yes, they're born, but they, they can be made. And leadership and executive coaching is one way to help individuals build clarity around where are they? Are they in the right career? Are they aligned? What are their strengths? What are their values? What's important to them? How can they get better in that position? Number one. Two, what about their family? Are they, getting, are they looking at the whole integration of their work and life? Help them with those kind of things. Help them build clarity there. And clarity with how they lead. This is the impact I want to make. I'm in the right industry. I'm well aligned. Here's how I want to make the impact and here's how I want to lead the organization. And they understand the impact they're having well beyond just their direct reports. I love doing this because I know if I can help one leader build clarity in these three areas, they're going to impact much more than just them. They can impact the direct reports, their teams, larger organization, and folks well outside. And I know it's a very positive impact that they can have. They're making life better for many other folks. They're making life better for themselves, they're loving what they do, and they're making a positive impact for a many individuals well beyond just the direct reports. That's why I do it, and I love doing it. How about you? Do you love what you do? If you don't, what do you want to do to ensure that you do love what you do?